time to embrace and a time to shun, a time for finding and a time for living, a time for keeping and a time for destroying, a time to never thunder and a time to never scatter, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to make war and a time for apologize and to love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Andy, io sono entrato, sono riuscito ad entrare. E per ora ci sono, c'è una signora che sta andando nell'altare con il prete a leggere, ok? Cioè, ci sentiamo dopo, salutiamo la mamma, un bacio, ciao, ciao, grazie, ciao. So that you may not believe what you ask and have no hope. For if you believe in Jesus Christ and heard, so too will God, through Jesus, bring you from those who have gone to sleep. Indeed, we pray to them so in the name of the Lord, that they who are alive, who are left in the coming of the Lord, will surely not perceive those who have gone to sleep. To the Lord himself, the Lord of man, Voice of our angels and the trumpet of God will come down from heaven and the dead in the earth will rise first. Then, when you are alive, you are left, will be brought together in the path to the Lord's 
you know how much you love her and how much she loves you. I know that love continues. The grandchildren may extend our sympathy and prayers and the loss of your mom, Stephanie and Brian, Christy, and Tina. I know how much you would miss her. But again, she is still with you. Their great grandchildren, her sister, and all the members of the family, and some of people sit to me in your prayers. You all know, Francesca was so, so very proud of her Italian heritage. We're in Sicily. Uh, she immigrated to the United States with her good husband, Casper, to Brooklyn uh, at first. 61 years ago. They have been spending some time in Brooklyn, moved here to our community of Michigan in 1968. They raised their good family. I spoke to Clara this past few days and I've learned a lot about Francesca. Things that I'm sure all of you know, all of my own home know so well. But let me just share a few things about her that we honor today. One of course is we know how much you love her Italian language. She spoke with a beautiful Thai accent, as we know. And the family told me that when you were growing up, she spoke Italian, you were not in the house. And that's how you allowed her to learn your Italian. And then still speak your family in Italy because of what your mom and dad taught you. We you know how much she loved her babies in New York when she lived in New York. The husband and how she matched with the New York City subway in Boston. And that's something very difficult to do with her. Uh, she was such a strong, strong woman. And I just kept hearing over and over again that she was an amazing cook. I'm sure you missed her, her cooking for sure. And she loved life. She loved the joke. Play jokes, she loved to go to casinos, to her friends. How independent and self reliant she was, especially after the death of her husband, who she loved and had this so very much. You know how she proud she was of her appearance, always wanted to look her best, especially her, her beautiful red auburn hair. Which was just on a few days ago before she died. So I think she's very ready to see your dad again, your husband again, her loved one again in heaven. But she's ready to get on for it. She loved life so very much. So proud of all her grandchildren, her great grandchildren. Leave it alone her life. How kind she was to me. Even in her illness, as she moved on in years and lived in this McCarthy residence, how you should be how kind she was to the staff there, the fellow residents there, always with a warm smile and warm hello, lovely kisses. Even to the end, how she showed grace and respect, goodness and kindness to others. All these things you remember. But I think what brings tears to your eyes is what Francesca loved the very most in her life. And that's her family. Family was everything to her. You were everything to her. I know she was everything to you. Always family first. Always thinking of the other person first. Her son, her daughter, her grandchildren, always, always family. The grandmother to everyone in the community, your friends, your friends, the grandchildren. She was an honor to everybody. And she loves the fact that they the grandma of the Catholic. And I think it's so, so, so amazing that God called her home. The peace be back in conception, December 8th. And here we are giving her back to God in the church of the Immaculate Conception. We can only count the number of Calvaries that 
and just get through it pretty easy. And then the journey for home won't be And remember the last days of our marriages, all we know is what God has paid for us, sinners, now and now and like that. At the residence of Bishop Parker, we have a beautiful image of the Blessed Mother, very close to her head. I can only imagine that the Blessed Mother would be to her when she took her last breath on that beach stay on the earth and called her home. Called her home to be once again with the husband who she missed, and especially to her lovely family. Come to me, come to me, I can see an image that in my head. But the Blessed Mother herself came and took her home again. Mary believed the instrument. It leads us to Jesus. I think that's what happened with Francesca last week when she went home to God. To take comfort in your faith this day. Jesus became one of us to save all of us. And that's what a human man celebrates. That God became man in Jesus to save us from sin and death as we pray. And readings today and calls her home because I just didn't know that Jesus was the way, the truth, and the life. Not only in her head, but in her heart. That's why she lived a life of love, which is what we're all called to live. To live a life of love for others, thinking of others with for herself, especially her good family. But take comfort, because things like this is all we have is our faith. Believe in a true sum of faith that we believe in the community of saints. Just like the saints that us here in this church above us. Now your, your mom or your, your mama is, is among those saints. Uh, that will bury her soul today, her body today. We don't bury her soul. And she is with us still. She is with you still. And just like you love her as much today as you ever loved her growing up when you were a child or an adult, her love for all of you also continues. And you'll feel that love in the days and weeks and months of my life. Her love continues. Nothing gets out of her love because her soul. No soul has not died, but we're born to return to life. And we also believe, like the Francesca did, that eternal life is with God for all men. We're in a season of Advent, it's a season of light. A season of light. We see lights on Christmas trees in your home, lights on the windows as you drive through town, lights in stores, telling us that Jesus is the light of the world. And now Francesca is at home with the true light of the world. And just as we all experienced Christmas with our family this year, even in this hot year of COVID, Francesca has experienced a true Christmas. Being with her husband again, who she loves so very much, we might be again. For the 23 years, with the dad and I, and the young couple and I, we're together again at <coughs> Christmas. How beautiful is that? With each other, with the loved ones, and especially with the Lord Jesus. Help us and other saints, which are all the human saints. That's why we celebrate Christmas. The birth of our Savior, who saved Francesca, and always, always is there to save all of us. How important it is for us to live our faith. As you did, and we are all called to it. See, there's a beautiful life. The tears are so real, you know. This group of people live a long life. The tears are so real because our love is so real. Just as her love is so real. We must take comfort in our faith that we won't be with her again. With the dad and the grandpa and all of our lives. To experience true Christmas and true Easter for the loving God. May this good woman, 
That's the God's peace. We all do it again. Again, let's pray. Help me, Mary. One more. Help me, Mary. For this good one. Why do we make our place a mother when she talks about that? So we never be praying. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, the mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Bless and be sent in the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. But dear friends, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he proceeds for his church. Confident that God heard the voice of those who trust in the Lord, we join our prayers to him. Our responses in our prayer. In baptism, Francesca, receive the light of Christ, scattered the darkness now, and we are over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our sister Francesca was not at the table to see. Welcome her to the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and away the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Those who trust in the Lord now seek in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. The family and friends of Francesca seek comfort and consolation, heal their pain, and dispel the darkness and doubt that comes from grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We are assembled here with faith and confidence to pray for our sister Francesca. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation. Of your son's coming. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of Francesca and all who sleep in Christ. Grant them a place in the kingdom. We pray to our Lord Jesus Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands and the praise and glory of his name. For I have been on all the Lord's And we humbly present to you the sacrificial offerings of the Lord, for the salvation of your servant Francesca, who beseech your mercy, that she, who did not have your son to be a loving Savior, may find in him a mercy to judge who lives at peace forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit, let us come out to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just for our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere we give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of the blessed resurrection has gone. The new Sabbath, by the certainty of God, might be the soul of the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, we are faithful, Lord. Life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly body turns to us, an eternal body is made ready for them in heaven. And so, all the angels and archangels, the thrones and dominions, of all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of the glory that is now in together in the Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of 
is that and resurrection. We all agree with the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, Lord, your church prayed about the more than three times of the fullness of Christ. Together with Francis of Pope, the members of Bishop and all the brothers. Remember your servant Francesca, who we have called from this world to your son. Pray that she be born united with your son in the death of his, may also be born with him in his resurrection. Remember all of our brothers and sisters. Fall asleep in the hope of resurrection. All who have abided in us, welcome them born into the light of your grace, especially those in your family and your love. Have mercy on us all, we pray, through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the St. Joseph, the Spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs. And we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, honor, and joys forever and ever.
takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room. Holy Spirit, Lord, my soul shall stand. This is the communion of the way down here of uh, Francesca's casket. If you want to receive a blessing instead of the Eucharist, you can have your hand and cross your hands. Thank you. 
Friends, before we go our separate ways, we take leave of our sister. May a farewell express our affection for her. May ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again. When the love of Christ has conquered all things, destroys even death itself. Our sister, to her place of rest. 